the Doha debates is not just a show that you go watch, round of applause, walk away. It's, it, there's definitely a family over there. There's definitely a community between the staff. And they make you part of that. If you go enough and if you're a regular and you know, they like you, you become part of that. And that's really cool that you, you get to be part of this family. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to QF Radio, and here are the top stories of the day. My name is Nabil Nashar. I work as a program producer at QF Radio. I'm originally an Egyptian national, but I grew up here in Doha since I was five years old. You know, we enter this room, there's a big crowd, it looks very organized, it looks very professional. We sit down and we just, we're just scared little freshmen. We're interested in all the topics that we've heard some of the debates before, and we're really interested. So we sit down, and I will forever remember what episode that was. It was one of the special episodes that had Iyad Alawi, former Prime Minister of Iraq, in, uh, with Tim Sebastian. We went in, Tim starts the interview, and we are just blown away. We cannot believe that we're sitting and watching this as it's happening, this interview between a great uh, media host, Tim Sebastian, and Iyad Alawi. And during the entire episode, you know, Tim is talking to him for a little bit, and then at some point he opens the floor for uh, the audience to ask questions. And I'm just trying to muster up enough courage to raise my hand and get that microphone. Eventually I do, and it takes him a while, but Tim chooses me. He's like, gentleman on the back. And I stand, I'm like, me? Are you sure it's me? And then I, I stand up, they pass over the mic to me, and I was trembling in fear. Uh, as I, I mustered enough courage, and I was literally shaking, and asked my question. Turn around at the back. Mr. Alawi, uh, a few minutes ago, Mr. Sebastian asked you, you have no blood on your hands. You answered him, no. One million deaths are Iraqi casualties in Iraq since 2003. Invasion of the United States to Iraq, it's the same invasion that you supported. I ask you, who do you hold responsible? for these one million souls? And the answer is not Saddam Hussein because he was held captive by the US forces early December 2003. And he starts going off, he's like, oh, I blame the, uh, the Iraqi people. I blame them for supporting the ex regime. I blame them for the blah. I was like, well, I'm sorry, let me get this straight. You're blaming the Iraqi people. And he says, yes. I was like, thank you very much. That's all I needed to hear. Uh, so he said it's the fault of Iraqis. You blame Iraqis for these casualties. The Ara yeah, part partly to be blamed, yes. Partly the Iraqis to be blamed. Thank you very much, sir. I made my point. And I sat down, which was kind of rude, because I didn't let him finish. But, but Tim Sebastian really had my side. He was like, no, 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 you're not answering this question. He's asking, who do you blame? Because he tried to evade it at the beginning. And that was the first time Tim sort of, I guess I caught his eye, right? Because the question was, it was a bit uh, rough. And, you know, after the episode, I thought, they're not going to air this, because it, was, it wasn't a nice question. Uh, but to my surprise, the next Saturday or Friday, I think it was, we were watching it on TV, and it was there. They didn't cut it out. And it was great. And that was the first time I went to a Doha Debates episode, and that was the day I fell in love with it. Since that day, I have not missed a Doha Debates till my junior year. For the first three years of college, I was a regular, absolutely. And even after graduation, now it's been a year since I graduated, I still go every single day. I'd never miss it. I'd go because I want to watch him do this. I want to watch him moderate this debate, how he sort of plays both sides. And uh, not confuse them, but really challenge them and contest them and see how they react. Some of them can hold their own pretty well. Most of them can't. And that was the amazing part for me, just watching Tim Sebastian do his thing. And that is a part of the reason why I decided to go into media after graduation. One day, I'm, I'm hoping my aspiration is to become like Tim Sebastian, have my own show, be political in nature, be on TV, and be able to debate all these sort of topics. I do have a very uh, memorable moment with the Doha debates, but it wasn't actually during one of the shows, it wasn't during the trip either. It was when I was doing a summer course at Northwestern University, journalism. And, uh, you know, at some point they're like, go interview someone. It was an assignment, and I chose to interview Tim Sebastian. So he gave me 15 minutes of his time. And I asked him a few questions. And it was so cool to me because it was this role reversal, sort of. Instead of Tim, the guy sitting there asking the questions, interviewing someone all the time. All of a sudden, it's me, the student, interviewing 
the master, right? And he just told me amazing things, right, about how he started in media, how it was first journalism, and then he started out with this show, and how that you just have to seize opportunities and work as hard as you can, and that's how you get there. And towards the end, right, I was taking notes, and, you know, I'm done, I got what I needed. I'm like, thank you very much. And he looks at me, and he says, Nabil, if I take a step back, and I'm like, yes, he's like, you're going to do great things. And that, coming from him, just meant the world to me. It meant the world to me. He just looked at me, and he said, Nabil, you're going to do great things. That was the news bulletin from QF Radio 93.7 FM. I'm Nabil Nashar and I hope you have a wonderful day.